praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Join me to give thanks to the Almighty God who has brought us into another week. His name be praised forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to read from the scriptures. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 50. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. I lay emphasis on that last part. It says, but there was no sword in the hand of David. Several lessons to learn. First is, of course, enemies can come in different sizes. But no matter the size of that obstacle, God is certainly able to give us the victory and he will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The second lesson, of course, is yes, it is good to have something in your hand. Yes, it is good to have a sling. Yes, it is good to have a stone. Yes, it is good to have skills in your hand. But your victory as a believer is not just tied to what you have in your hand, but what you have in your mouth. Your victory is going to be won by what you have in your mouth. And thank God because God has given us the name of Jesus that we will proclaim and have our victory in that wonderful name. Romans chapter 10 verse 10 says, It is with the heart that a man believes unto righteousness. It is with the mouth that confession is made unto salvation. We learned in church to use what God has given to us. And we need to take steps today to use what God has given to us. God has given us the wonderful name of Jesus. David said something to the Philistine this time. He said, thou come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Therefore, today, use what God has put in your mouth against that obstacle and declare what the, the victory that God has given to you against that obstacle. Speak and say, giant, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command you, get out of the way. And confess again and say, I lay my hands upon the blessing. I lay my hands upon the promise of God that God has freely given to me in Christ Jesus. I lay my hands upon my breakthrough. I receive the blessing in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Have a wonderful week. God bless you.